Let's talk about Kahira, the new media distribution platform that will guide users towards their next financial investment. We're talking about a mix between LinkedIn and Netflix, and it promises to be the perfect meeting point between investors and asset managers. They will be connecting through video, specifically curated financial video content that leverages a network effect through data-driven models. The Kohira platform will be available worldwide this summer. So it only makes sense that it has representation here in Zurich, Switzerland, such an important financial hub. Welcome, Jesper. Thank you so much for coming. Jesper is the head of this region. Thank you very much, Alina. So it's such an exciting time to invest, am I right? Well, it's always exciting to invest, obviously, but uh, but I think that uh, coming out of a pandemic, of course, it's there is there is a market condition that makes it extra interesting, and uh, and I think we've already seen now a few key financial indicators that are back at pre-pandemic levels. So it's gone fast, and and things are moving. Okay, and this young venture was founded in Denmark in 2017. And it expanded very quickly in terms of services and uh, in terms of geography. It now has a global approach. Mm -hmm. So can you talk to us a little bit about its journey and main purpose? Yeah, I, I think um, from the inception, we had a, a global approach because when we talk about uh, what we focus on is democ is part of the democratization of finance. So, of course, we, um, we come from a background where we were part of the first wave, which was making the transaction cheaper and better and, and faster. But uh, but that's a while back now. That's where my background comes from. But today, uh, I think that for, for finance to really democratize, we need to help financial institutions be better at communication, uh, communicate in a simpler, more direct manner, less thick PDF files and, and so on. So what I'm particularly passionate about is, is helping whether it's large financial institutions or small, uh, smaller fund or asset managers, communicating in a way that they will reach a broader audience and that helps them to, to make better investment decisions. Now let's dive to, into how it works. There are two kinds of groups that benefit from this. We have the asset managers that can target a very specific and precise market. And then we have the investors and the institutions that can get those opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. So... Let's elaborate a little more on how these two groups can connect once they become a member. Yeah, so of course uh, the premise for the whole platform is, is video content. Um, and we think about video content in all its shapes and forms. Um, because today in a digitized age, and especially as a, as a coming out of the pandemic, um, I think it's more natural that we start to build what I would call virtual relationships. Uh, so for a fund and an asset manager who wants to come out with their message, of course they can submit the thick documents about the performance and drawdowns and all these uh, different important things. But it's also a matter of, of helping them, like I said, reach a broader or more targeted audience that can be depending a little bit on your strategy. But whether you want to have a broad audience or you want to communicate to, to your specific audience, it's important that you that you make more relatable information. And I think that's, like I said before, that's that's really part of this new wave of finance coming out. How can fund managers take advantage specifically of the network effects of Cohera today? What will make it so valuable for them? There are two two categories here. We have, of course, fund managers, like I said, who goes for a very professional audience. They will communicate in a certain way, give a certain style. We will use our networking effects to uh, to create a platform where we see very professional uh, asset allocators joining. We've we we had a webinar recently where we know that one of the results was that six chief investment officers from large larger financial institutions actually participated. So that's on one side of the, the coin. We also know uh, from the other side, uh, the fund managers who focus more on a retail investment. Um, we, had, uh, we had an example from Sweden where uh, a fund manager has raised investments from 120,000 different investors, which is, of course, a staggering number. So how do you build virtual relationships with 120,000 people? Well, first of all, you need to communicate well. And then, of course, you need broad and efficient distribution. And Cohera, we will shoot for the efficient communication or distribution of the communication. 
Yes, for, and uh, I understand that you can access Kahira for free, just like a social media platform. But do you have to be an investor or a fund manager in order to become a member? Is that a prerequisite? No, it's not. I, I think if you're not uh, sort of interested in finance, so, um, parts of it might be boring, fair enough. Uh, but, in, but what I believe is that uh, the, the information that, investors seek to make a decision like let's say for example they want to know more about investing in emerging markets for example though a lot of that information could actually be interesting for other people i mean whether you're uh, setting up a business in uh, china or whatever your your objective is um, i think that the depth of insight is uh, a little bit missing in the world today there can be a lot of superficial information on many topics but generally when you need to, or when you want to encourage investors to, to place their money, then uh, then you cannot do superficial information. You will need to to go into a, a bigger depth. So over time, I, I could imagine we'll have uh, users from all walks of life who just needs to have a credible and uh, trustworthy source of information. And who is allowed to post that video content? So essentially, who is the owner of each video content? Yeah. So for the, for the fund managers, we, 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 we think of it in, in three tiers. Of course, there's the information that you can communicate to a global audience. That would be your thought leadership on specific topics. Uh, one hot topic among our fund managers these days is inflation, which is a very important indicator for investments, of course. And that you can talk about to, to everybody. But then you have maybe topics where you want to focus on a more, let's say, professional part of the market. So then you'll communicate in a certain way with a certain style. Um, and then ultimately, we, we also curate the content to allow for certain com communication to only be available to the existing investors in that particular fund. So that then they can be more open and transparent on certain topics. And then if a potential investor would want access to that, of course, the person would have to invest. And there's also independent uh, content designed to educate and inspire potential investors, right? Yes. Um, I mean, I think uh, we're not the only ones who thinks that finance should be uh, democratized, right? So, uh, so I, would, I think uh, as a big part of my job as, as responsible for a geographical region in Cohera is to find like-minded uh, entities or people such as yourself. So we invite... Um, accredited uh, participants to, to also come in with their views. So uh, whether that's, for example, you uh, hosting uh, some interviews or, or some panel debates, that would be one way of thinking about it. But we are also working with uh, other partners, so for example, production uh, facilities here in, uh, in Switzerland, where they are helping finance to get better at communicating. So we will open it up to a, a set of accredited uh, contributors, but it will be regulated and accredited contributors only, and we regulate it. And we mentioned data at the beginning of this conversation. How are you using it to distribute your content? We already have 80 pioneers signed up in the, on the platform, right? So uh, they've already started building a lot of content. So we have hundreds, I think, even in the thousands of videos already. So for the investors who, uh, who choose to, to tune in from the beginning, they will already have a lot to choose from. So for us, it's important that we use then the data from the videos on one side, but then, of course, also for the investors, so they can express preferences either through their behavior or through settings or however they want to do it, so that we make sure that the videos they are presented with is relevant, and with relevance is uh, both timing and uh, market trends, but then, of course, also their, their interest, their expressed interests, whether it's... On a, on a more investment side, or if they have a geographical specific uh, interest, we make sure that the, the relevant content meets the, the relevant audience. So that's good because that means that when it actually launches, the users will actually be able to see the content ready from those 80 institutions part of the Pioneer program. Yeah, exactly. So there's already a huge backlog and uh, and uh, another way of doing that is, of course, if you if you see a fund manager and you you have a good experience with the way he expresses certain views on the market, you'll on his particular fund page you'll be able to deep dive further into how he, uh, how this uh, these opinions are expressed from from he or, or she.
And what is the most important characteristic? What will make it really valuable for investors, for asset managers to actually want to join Cohera? I think there are there are many platforms in the world who offer uh, financial insights. Uh, there are fun platforms where you can see the maximum drawdowns and uh, the high watermark and all of these uh, very interesting things. And, and those are important too, but we are not competing in that space. What we help with or what we focus on is this relationship buildup between an investor and uh, a, a potential investment, so a fund or an asset management company or a bank or similar. So we we have the supporting information as well, but the key for us is to help the fund manager communicate to to the correct audience for him, whether it's broad or if it's targeted, and then start to build up what we call this this virtual relationship, which is how we see that the next uh, trend in finance um, is is going to be about that particular way of doing relationship management as opposed to the old way where, yeah, everything was done over lunches and so on, which is not very democratic because you can't invite 120,000 people for lunch. Well, you could, I suppose, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> it would be too much, right? <laughs> so last and definitely not least, when can users expect to have this website, this platform live worldwide? So first of all, we are posting content, we are creating content, we are distributing content. We have uh, uh, already for now, we've done a long series of webinars. So I, as opposed to a, a, a big launch, we, we're building it up because for us, it's more about servicing a community, uh, helping the community of investors, whether it's the people on the fund and asset management side or the people who are investing slowly releasing services that they will find attractive and uh, that will help them to to realize our journey on the democratization of finance. Well, it certainly is a thrilling era to invest and I can't wait to see what the future holds for Cohera. Best of luck for the lunch. Thank you so much and thank you for now.